Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Adiayo, and today's video is I'll be talking about five tips on how to build your CV as an undergraduate. I'm sure you are seeing from the thumbnail and video. Let's drink up it does look like big fun. Come so five tips on how to build your resume or your CV as an undergraduate. The first tip is volunteering or internship. So you can decide to volunteer, that's volunteer for an organization or volunteer for an institution that's not related to anything you are doing in school, like any of the course or you know what I'm trying to see. Then internship during your free holidays, you can decide to take it up for yourself and write a letter to any organization of your like of your choice that you prefer to work in. As you want to intern for like two weeks or for a month, depending on how long you can intern for. Yeah. So the next tip is Learn a new skill. So basically, learning a new skill is all, all about learning skills that will help you in future, that will help you support your career in future, that are like, relevant to your career in the future when you want to apply for jobs. So you understand what I'm trying to say? So you improve your communication skills, you can learn a tech skill, e.g. coding, website designing. You can also learn, um, what else can you learn? You can learn a new language too. You can learn the town marketing. It just depends on what you prefer. That what you feel will be relevant in your industry, yeah, your career industry in future years to come or years you'll be applying for a job. Next tip is taking take on leadership organizations and take on leadership positions. So this taking on leadership position is all about deciding to. Um, lead in a team or lead in a society just belong to a group of um, um, society that you'll be leading them what I'm trying to say is be, don't just be a follower follower try to participate in politics in your school setting in your class setting your department setting any setting you feel you should participate in just just feel free to participate basically so you can join a club or a society yeah, and become their team lead or you can work towards any of their executive positions. Thank you. Next is invest on yourself. So this investing on yourself is very critical. It's very important. So investing on yourself is trying to make yourself a better person. Improve on your self, your skills in terms of um, your reading skills, your anything, anything. Just try and read books, listen to podcasts, watch movies, really relevant material. It's just all about investing in yourself, making sure you grow financially, spiritually, any aspect of your life, emotionally safe. Because emotional intelligence is very, very key. Very, very key. It's nice if you're able to control your emotions. It's not about being so intelligent or be able to control your emotions. So you should read books about that too. Then focus on yourself. My last tip is focusing on yourself. So as much as all these things can be overbearing, even though you are already participating in one or not, you should try to not forget the reason why you're in school. Like don't forget that you are in school just secure the certificate as I said. Try and put your best. Do not forget that oh because I have this experience doesn't mean I should do it. No. Your certificate is as good as your experience too. So experience just give you a leverage than other people that have no experience or anything. You know what I'm trying to say? So you should also focus on your books, read your books, um try to get the best out of your study because actually you're not going to stay in school forever. It's just for a, a period of time. But you can actually tend to work in an organization for like 10 or 15 years. But building that um, certificate, getting a good grade, actually sell and help your chance of getting a job. So that comes to the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment below what other extra tips you find and other people can try and learn from you. Thank you very much. Bye.